Hello there. My name is Cliff. I'm a registered nurse and I'm a farmer. That makes me the Nurse Farmer. And welcome to my show. Today, we're going to take plain, ordinary terracotta pots and transform them into a creative gift to give away to someone, like at a, maybe a Halloween party, or maybe for a Thanksgiving dinner, or we could even make a gift for ourselves for our fall and winter gardens, maybe for a mom or some kind of winter herb or vegetable. But what we're going to make today is we're going to, we're going to take this and transform it into a candy corn flower pot. And as you can see, I've already taken a shortcut. I've primed and painted both the inside and out of the flower pot, the top and the bottom of the saucer, using a non-toxic white colored crafting paint. You always want to put that base coat on just to kind of keep water from seeping in and paint from flaking off later. This will help improve the longevity of your project. And I've chosen orange, brown, and yellow for my colors. Now this isn't an endorsement, but just a suggestion or an idea. You use whatever you want as you see fit, okay? As you can see, this is an eight inch flower pot. And what I've done is I've marked the pot in approximately three inch increments. Think of the pot as a clock. 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock going all the way around the pot in three inch increments right here here let's say this is 12 o'clock again we've got about a three o'clock position three inches apart mark off your sections using a pencil and then what i've done is i've taken a rubber band and gone entirely around using your finger just go around the edges and you can adjust it, move it around, move the rubber band around as you see fit. It does not have to be a perfect line. I want to emphasize this. This is a handcrafted gift or project and they're never exactly perfect. So I don't want you to stress over that. I'm going to start with orange paint. I'm going to use a very small painter's brush. Go around the edges, be very careful not letting the paint extend beyond the rubber band. Here we go, all the way around, perfect. Let it air dry. We may have to apply a second coat to cover up any white spots that bleed through. After the first coat of paint dries, readjust the rubber band following the outline of the first layer of paint, and then apply a second rubber band, this time following the pencil markings that we made earlier just go around the entire circumference of the pot. Next, apply a second layer of paint using the color of your choice and using the rubber bands as a guide and a barrier to help keep the paint from seeping onto the opposite sides of the pot. While we're waiting for the second coat of paint to dry, we'll go ahead and take a shortcut and we'll start painting the saucer the fall color of our choice. I've chosen brown. After the paint dries, it's time to remove the rubber bands. And look at this beautiful piece of art. It's a planter for your garden. If you don't want to use it as a planter, how about this? We could always use it as a pedestal. How about that? We could also use this for a candle holder. Just get some crafting glue, put some glue on the bottom, glue on the top, put it on like this, let it dry, and guess what? You got a nice fall candle holder. Right, this is an activity to boost our mental health during the fall and winter months, or for that matter, any time of year. This fosters a sense of creativity, gets those creative juices flowing. It helps boost our self-esteem and how we feel about ourselves. And it can also be an opportunity for socialization with others. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, my friends.